Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to hollow out your models for resin printing. Okay, so when you get a resin printer, a uh, DLP like the Wanhao Duplicator D7, um, you've got a few options when you're printing. The default is when you print an STL file, it's not going to hollow it out for you and do infill like normal Simplify 3D. It's going to print the entire model completely solid. So you can see here, this guy was completed, uh, printed completely solid. And so was this logo. So these are completely solid. Now, although they are very strong, they're going to use a lot of resin. A simple way to reduce the amount of resin that you use is to hollow out the model. Now this provides drainage so that the model isn't going to get full up with um, excess resin and make splotches and it also uses something like one tenth of the resin that it would if it's fully solid. Okay so the only tool we're going to need here is Mesh Mixer. Um, Mesh Mixer you can actually download from meshmixer.com and I believe there is a version available for most operating systems. First off we're going to import the model that we want to play with. So I'm going to download one of Jeff Rose that I've done before. Uh, Colossus of uh, X-Men. So this is a very high detail model and it would use a lot of filament if we were to print it solid. So the first step to this is we're going to go over to edit. From edit we're going to select make hollow. Now this shouldn't take too long depending on the specs of your PC and the complexity of the model. So you can see now that it's hollowed it out but it hasn't maintained all of the, um, the pixel density that we want. So we're going to have to increase the accuracy all the way up, increase the mesh density all the way up and then update hollow. Okay now the model has been rendered or re-rendered and is now hollow so we can accept that. Alright, so now we have a hollow model. Not that we can tell from this view. The next thing we're going to want to do is add some drainage holes. So to do this, we go up to Mesh Mix and then we choose the cylinder. And just drag that in. Now we want to keep this fairly small, so we can resize that by pressing the tiny little cube in the middle and then click and drag. To extend the height, we just use this little box above the uh, x-axis and now we have a little tube. So we'll just drag it across using the arrows to where we want it to be. So I'm thinking somewhere in the center in the base. So that was right clicking just to drag the model around and we'll put a hole right there in his bum and we'll accept that. So at this point we have a Colossus on a stick. First off we select the model, shift and then select the post. Now this new box is going to appear and we want to do boolean difference. That's very important, boolean difference. So we'll move him up so we can actually have a look. And we can do that by going into the transform and then we'll lift him up. Now using our right click, we can scroll underneath and we can see that there is now a hole in the base that resin can drip out of. And you can see all the way through into his guts. So that's pretty good. Um, however, Resin will print upside down, so the resin hole here isn't going to be that helpful, so we probably need to add a couple more. So we'll put him back down to the base, 
and then we might add a slight resin hole in the back here. So again to do that we go up to mesh mix and we select the tube or cylinder. We then reduce the size of the cylinder so it's not ridiculously too big and we can drag it higher. Now we want to pick where we want our drain hole to be. And I think I want one run right in the top of his head at the highest point of the model where resin might collect. Now that's too big, so again we can re-shrink that so it's not as wide, the diameter is not as wide. And then just center that off so it doesn't look so dumb. Now when this is printed you're probably not going to notice it anyway so just position the drain hole uh, to what suits you. If you wanted to you could even reduce, change the angle and then bring it down a bit so you're not going to see it as much. And say we can put it, I don't know, probably there like that. That would probably be fairly inconspicuous. So again, now we uh, accept that value, click our primary model first, shift, and then the cylinder. Boolean difference. So the reason I put the uh, hole in the base is so you can get a Q-tip or something up in there to clean out any excess residue, because if there's uh, resin in there still in blobs or just even the run lines, when you go to cure it, they're gonna harden and you're gonna see them because it's a transparent model. So you can see here, this little hole here will allow me to get a Q-tip in there or even my finger. And then you can clean out any of the wet spots so that you're gonna end up with a nice clear model at the end. Anyway guys, I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs down, please let me know why or what I can do to improve. And if there's any other tips and tricks you'd like me to show you, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys, and thank you very much for subscribing. Don't forget the 10K contest is still running. Link will be in the description. Thanks guys.